Hey awesome people, so I modded my Game Boy Color and I'm going to teach you how to do this today. You may think, why would you want to do that? Well, even though you can play uh, Game Boy Color games on a Game Boy SP, I've always loved the Game Boy Color and I always thought it just misses the front lit screen. I actually think this is also the only video tutorial of how to do this on the whole of the interwebs because when I was looking to make this I searched everywhere online and I couldn't find it so I really hope this helps you. Now this was my first time soldering and modding so I can't necessarily help you out with questions but feel free to leave any and I can try to help you out but again I'm a noob so I'm just happy that this turned out for me. So good luck guys and I hope you enjoy. Remember thumbs up, favorite, share, blah blah blah, subscribe, cool, see ya. So the main gear you need is on screen. Also make sure you get an AGS-001 model of the SP because that has a front light, not a back light like other models. Make sure you get a 47 OHM resistor, not a 47K. Now you need the tri-wing screwdriver to undo the six screws on the back of the Game Boy. I've pointed them out for you here. I used a flat head to pry it open and then I used a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the three screws on the circuit board. Now carefully lift up the circuit board and do not break or damage the orange ribbon which is connected to the Game Boy screen or it'll stop working. I just wanted you to hear how stuck the screen was to the Game Boy. Wedge it off with your flathead screwdriver, it's glued down pretty well. Be careful but you should be able to get it off with some force. Remove the buttons and switch from the Game Boy and use the pliers to snap off this part of the plastic of the Game Boy. We're now making room for the Game Boy SP front light. Make sure it looks like this. Time to tear apart the Game Boy SP. Use something pointy to get rid of these plastic pieces covering the screws and unscrew them with a tri-wing screwdriver. Carefully pull the SP apart the same way I'm doing it and it should be easy but be careful. Now you need to cut this orange ribbon that's connected. Everything except the screen is now rubbish. I found the easiest way to get rid of this foam was to peel it from a corner or find a place to peel it and do that. I tried to get off with a flathead screwdriver and that failed so just try to peel it. Now unhook the screen and take it apart by finding these two notches, you should be able to kind of lift it apart like so. Once you've done that, make a note not to hurt this orange thing, it's very important for later in the mod. We are going to have to detach it, however, from this part of the screen. I use some kind of flat piece of metal, use whatever you like, you just kind of have to peel it up and off this piece. It was just stuck with like a little bit of tape or glue, but now you can actually cut this piece here, and this is rubbish. Use a flathead screwdriver to detach the Game Boy Advance SP piece from the other part of the screen. And you'll notice it's kind of just stuck together with some sticky stuff. The part with the logo is now rubbish. Now we need to get rid of all the black sticky stuff. I found the easiest way was to get the corner up and then peel it all off. I tried to scrape it off, that failed. See if you can peel it off, that worked best for me. Once you've done that, the actual backlight piece should actually just slip out of that black casing there. So gently take it out, try not to scratch it because this is going into your Game Boy Color. Now the screen itself has a texture, there's one smooth side and one bumpy side. So what you need to do is find out which is which. You can use the back of your fingernail to slide across the screen and feel which is the smooth side and which is the bumpy side. We need to place the bumpy side face down into the Game Boy so it will be facing down and out. If you do this wrong, then if you complete the mod successfully, the screen will be too bright to really play a game with, so you'll have to go back in and flip it over and resolder it. Now we need some wire and the 47 OHM resistor. I'm not a wire expert, but now I am preparing the wire by cutting off its insulation. I believe it's just like copper wire, and then I like to twist the end just to make sure all the pieces of copper is together so the current will flow smoothly. If you're new to soldering, then definitely look up beginner soldering or any soldering tutorials on YouTube just to see what's going on because I did this as it was my first time soldering. Also, you want to kind of clean the soldering iron by just putting some solder on it, solder on it. You could call it different names in different countries. Here in Australia, we call it solder, by the way. I think in America, you call it solder. So please don't bug me about that. But anyway, once you do that, you basically just put some solder onto the iron and then you can kind of... Uh, run it up and down the wire. I just coated it nicely just to make sure that in the end there's a good connection with all the all the awesomeness going flowing through your a device. I'm really bad at this. Anyway, so now you have to basically solder it to the orange thing. 
By the way, these are two separate pieces of wire, each about 7 inches long, just to be safe. Now place this screen into the Game Boy Color, making sure the bumpy side is facing down and it will just fit into the housing. Also, I use some masking tape to stick it in place and you can basically put all the buttons back in. Don't forget the power button. Okay, so now we need to take a quick break and look at a part of the finished product because unfortunately when I filmed this mod video, my mod actually ended up failing and I totally forgot to film how I fixed it. What happened was it was an issue with this orange tab here. It seemed to be two kind of orange tabs stuck together and I ended up peeling one away and then I resoldered it all back together and it worked, which was great. But all throughout this mod video, you'll see the orange tab looking like the illustration on the left, which is wrong. You need to peel away one of the tabs so it looks like the illustration on the right. I guess that maybe there was two pieces stuck together and it blocked the flow of, I, do you call it electricity? I don't know, but anyway. So make sure it looks like the illustration on the right and I'm really sorry that it was filmed all incorrectly for you guys. But that's unfortunately what happened and it took me a few hours to film and edit this video so I'm not going to be able to fix it for you guys. Um, I'd have to remod everything. But this is what it should look like at the end and I'm really sorry. Good luck. So now you may need to shorten the ends of the resistor and just bend them down so that it's like this shape. We're now going to solder it into your Game Boy. Now we're soldering the yellow side of the resistor to the top metal blob and it should look exactly like this. Put the Game Boy screen into place over the top of the front light. And to be safe, I stuck that down with some masking tape. Now we're going to flip that orange tab over gently so it looks like this. And we're going to snake the top wire down and around the D-pad and to the bottom of the Game Boy. And that will be soldered to the resistor and the bottom wire will be snaked down and around near the buttons and soldered onto the on and off switch. Put the circuit board back in its original place and now we're going to solder these loose wires. Using my same soldering technique as before, I am coating the wire with solder and then I solder it onto the resistor and to the on and off switch and it should look like this. So now you've learnt how to do the front light mod for the Game Boy Color in a fraction of the actual modding time. Just screw these three screws back into the circuit board, put on the Game Boy housing and push it together. It will be a bit of a tight fit but it should work. Screw those last six screws on and cross your fingers and hope for the best and then turn your Game Boy on and hope that that screen lights up. This is the first video tutorial of this mod online and even though I made my own errors and it may have been a little bit difficult to follow, I really hope it helped you more than the text and photo tutorials available. I'll put links in the video description to the other tutorials available online, the original by Mike J. Moffat and another by ChuChuBot.com. Alongside my video tutorial, you may be able to successfully complete this mod. If you have modding skills or soldering skills and you see someone asking for help in the comments, please be awesome and give them a hand because I'm just a noob and I'm sure your advice would be much more helpful than mine. If your mod was unsuccessful, I'm sorry about that. It is a tricky mod, especially if you're a beginner. I'm just very lucky that mine was successful. But if yours was successful, then please let me know. That is awesome. You may want to check out my other videos if you enjoyed this because I'm a girl geek, so I make all different types of fun videos. And also, I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up, favorited it, left a comment, and shared it with your friends because that kind of support really helps me and my channel to get noticed. Noticed. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope it helped you and hopefully I'll see you again soon.